run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, we are off to Old Twingham. Uh, obviously, I'm going to go around the charity shops there. There's also a Tesco there that I normally pop in, see if I can see any deals. There's not usually a lot of choice there for deals and stuff. I don't know why because it is quite a big Tesco, but they only kind of have a fairly small toy section. So yeah, sometimes there's just not, not really that much there. But normally the charity shops are pretty good, so it'll be nice to get out to a different area. I know there's been a few people who've been wanting me to get out to a different area and do a little bit of a vlog uh, around somewhere else opposed to just Northwich. And I'll be so happy just to kind of get in a different area, a fresh area with fresh eyes and see if I can find anything this time. Because it has been pretty poor around my local area. I won't go into that in too much detail because I know I've talked about that before. But yeah, it'll be cool to get out today to somewhere different. So with that being said, let's get on with this vlog and uh, let's see where the day takes us. Red light, midnight, pouring out heart and soul. So, we are back with another charity shop hunting video, and this time we are not in Northwich. So, as you can see here, I'm in one of the charity shops, and I'm randomly filming a few of the shoes and stuff, because I thought that might look quite good on video, uh, and maybe a few of the ladies would like to have a look at the handbags, I'm not too sure. But no, we have cut over to another section now. This was the first charity shop I went in, actually, um, and it's a little bit of a disappointing charity shop, this one. I don't normally find that much there but yeah you can see i'm just perusing the ceramics i was having a look but with a nice little uh, item i don't know whether, oh there it is there uh, that nice little art deco piece but you can see it's stickered up at a tenner uh which is i think to be honest it probably could be a bit of profit on that but i'm not going to pay a tenner for it so yeah um quite nice little selection of uh brick or black there but yeah, unfortunately there just wasn't anything that was incredibly standing out except that little art deco piece. You can see we're in another charity shop now, I think this is the um, Salvation Army, and uh, I'm just perusing a few of the brick or black and games and stuff like that, uh, that sort of shelf. And uh, I think we're going to cut, yeah we are, we're going to cut over to the DVDs next, so I always have a look at the DVDs, obviously I send some into Amazon, so I always have a look, but didn't seem to be anything on display or standing out to me this time on these ones. Well, I had just been round about three or four of the charity shops and I wasn't doing very well, I hadn't have got anything, but I just finally went into Age UK here and uh, just got my first item, so we will see if it picks up.
So, we are in M&S now, and I am on the hunt for some veggie bakes. They are legendary from M&S, but unfortunately my local M&S is closing, and they are reducing the amount of stock they, they hold, so they don't have veggie bakes in my one at the local town. But here we are, we're coming to them. There they are. Hi guys, so I am back from Alteringham now, and I did pick up four items. Nothing outstanding, unfortunately, but it probably was better than if I just went into my local town, Northwich. So at least I got a few bits and bobs. Obviously, I didn't just go there for the charity shops. There was other things that I wanted to do, and there was a couple of things my mum wanted to do as well. So we kind of made, not necessarily a day of it, because it, we're, we're back now, and it's, it's not even one o'clock, but we managed to do other jobs there as well. So it's not like... Uh, even if I didn't get anything from the charity shops, that it would have been a complete waste of time. So, with that being said, I'll get on and I will share with you the items that I did pick up. So, I was about halfway around the charity shops, or maybe just over, and I was getting a little bit anxious because I was thinking, oh god, we might not get anything today, it might be one of those days. But then I found this and I thought, you know what, beggars can't be choosers, let's pick it up. So it's brand new and sealed head headbands game for £3, 2 99 there from, is it an Oxfam or something, Age UK. Um, and yeah, I saw on Amazon it was going for about 13 quid. Probably not going to send it to Amazon because the fees would eat me up on it for, for 13 quid there. So I'm probably going to list it on eBay. I didn't check on eBay what it was going for, but I can imagine it's going to be around a similar price. So yeah, I just picked that up because I thought I just need to get something basically to get me into it. Generally, when I'm at a car boot or something like that, sometimes I feel the need just to pick something up just to get into it. So it was the same sort of thing, same sort of circumstances that really. So yeah, that's that one there. Next, I got this new downfall, and this is the one that usually goes for decent money at Christmas. I think people have got as high as around 20, 25 quid at Christmas for, for this edition, even in used condition. Um, and I paid £1.49 for that. Now, of course, I'm only an R in whether it's going to be complete or not, because £1.49 is quite cheap, so maybe someone kind of checked it but kind of didn't fully check it and then just decided to stick it, stick it up at £1.49. But I could probably source the parts for this, even if it isn't complete. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think there's one of these in my lockup that is incomplete. So if if that one is still in there, then um, yeah, hopefully I could just use the parts from that one and, and make at least one up. Um, and then I might send it to Amazon come Christmas time, or I might just whack it on eBay. Um, but yeah, so I mean, on eBay, I think probably a height you're going to get for something like this is maybe 15 quid, something like that. So yeah, still a nice little item for £1.49, I wasn't going to say no. Now, I know what you're thinking, why are you pack picking up more fat lava? Because, you know, you've said in the past you've got loads of it and you've said that it's a little bit of a slow seller and you shouldn't really pick too much of it up. But I saw this one and this one is nice. I don't know whether you can see that very well in the light, you probably can. It's got this lovely red fiery glaze on here, and it just looks like lava, this piece. This piece is perfect for what the name is, Fat Lava. This represents the name perfectly. And you can see there I paid, well, maybe you can't see actually, but it's £2.50. So I was thinking, yeah, it's probably worth me buying it for £2.50. But I didn't normally like to get these for around two quid if I can. Sometimes I pay three quid for the odd one, uh, just because I like fat lava and I end up paying that for it. Um, but yeah, it is fat lava. It says Germany on the bottom there, but it's kind of, it's quite a faint mark that normally they're, they're more impressed in, you know, more, more firmly impressed in. But yeah, £2.50 for that. I don't quite know what I'm going to charge for this one, maybe 19 99 something like that on this one because it's quite nice. Possibly a little bit higher but they do take quite a while to sell so I'd like to give people an attractive price and get it out the door fairly quickly because as I say they are fairly slow sellers these so I would like to maybe try and see if I can stim stimulate a sale on it fairly quickly so yeah £2.50 for that anyway. And then this final item here again, brand new sealed board game like the headbands one. I paid £3 for that in uh, a, where was that, Bernardo's. 
And uh, yeah, it's pinch and pass board game of some sort. And I scanned it into Amazon and I think it was on Amazon for 24, 25 quid. And it had a sales rank of 112,000. So it did a little bit above that 100,000 where I like to be. But I thought, you know what, I'll pick it up and I'm just gonna whack this in my lockup with my other new and sealed Christmas stock until Christmas, of, well not Christmas, but until maybe October time when I start dealing with it and start sending it up to Amazon. So yeah, that'll just go in that pile. And I'm glad because I really do need to find a few more bit, just a few more bits and bobs of sealed stuff for Amazon for Christmas because yeah, I've got a decent pile, but I just want a little bit more because I don't think it's as big or is as valuable as last year's Lego uh, lot that I had for Q4. So yeah, definitely want to try and find a few more bits and bobs of sealed stuff to, to add to that pile before sort of October rolls around. Because, you know, you may think October's quite a way off, but trust me, I mean, three or four months will go like that, snap of the fingers, and then it's quarter four and everything's going mad and all the rest of it so i just want to try and accumulate as much as i can now because we are getting slowly closer uh to that time where um you know basically uh things will go a bit better you know especially with a lot of the toys and stuff that i'm selling on amazon it's prime time quarter for i mean less so with the antiques and collectibles and stuff that side of my business is it doesn't really bother me you know that's that's going to sell most of the year there's not going to be huge fluctuations in the year with that there might be small fluctuations but not huge but with the amazon side of things with the toys and stuff uh i do want to make sure that i have enough for quarter four because that's the main kind of period so with that being said i won't ramble anymore that was a little haul oh also uh i've got a couple of these rolls of bubble wrap from wilco's because Here's a little tip for you. Always make sure you order your bubble wrap well before you need it because that's what I never do. I always forget to order it and then I literally don't have any left and then I think, oh God, I've got to order it. And that happens to me, well, not every month, but a lot of the time it happens to me. Basically about five or six times a year that happens to me. So once every couple of months or something, I forget and then I'm trying to scramble around for, for whatever packaging materials I can get. Um, whether it be for free or whether I have to pay a little bit of money for them until the bubble wrap arrives. But luckily, the bubble wrap that I get is on a 24-hour delivery, so it's not too bad. But if you've got a lot of parcels to pack up one day and you need to go out that day and you've not got any bubble wrap, it can be a nightmare. So, yeah, save yourself a bit of money and make sure you order your packaging well in advance. I know I'm preaching for it to the choir here. I'm sure a lot of you do that. But if you're as bad as me, again, you know what it is? Like I've been saying all the time about me, conscientiousness. I don't have enough organisation and conscientiousness with things. So I really need to get back to having a bit of that. But I don't even know how I can have some of that because I'm trying to be more conscientious and it's just not working. So maybe naturally I I just can't be conscientious. I don't know. But anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. I won't do any more rambling. Uh, if you do want, bu well, not bubble wrap specifically, but if you do want uh, tape and stuff, Wilco's is a good place to go because... There is, uh, the clear tape is about 35 pence a roll. Don't know what the brown tape is. It used to be 50 pence, but it might have gone up a little bit more. Because the clear tape used to be 20 pence a roll. But it's now, as I say, 35 pence. But Wilco's is a good place to go for cheap tape anyway. Bubble wrap is, you know, I mean, it's fairly, I suppose it's fairly expensive. I mean, this, this was a quid and... As you can see, it's not really going to get me anywhere. This is it, this one roll. That's why I got three of them. Um, but yeah, so... I suppose bubble wrap isn't brilliant, but it's it's good to tide you over, isn't it? If you if you forgot to order your packaging supplies, like some idiots on YouTube do. Anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you did enjoy the vlog today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and like the video if you did indeed like it. Comments, questions, or queries, please do drop them down below, and I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys. I'll give you what I got. The alcohol of that is flowing wild So grab yourself a can of mine